Okay, this is an ozone meter. I'm gonna check this ionic breeze for its level of ozone. Here's our baseline reading, about 5.4 parts per billion. Turn on the ionic breeze. Saying now? No, it's only 8.9. It went up to 37. Yeah, they say it points out 0.5. It's not actually an ozone generator, but it just is a byproduct that. Yeah. Fifty point five. Fifty point five parts per billion. This is the ionic breeze quadra, tabletop, fancy ozone detector. Fifty six point three. Can't believe people would have these in their bedrooms, and people still do that don't know any better. The Auric um, XL one produces ozone too. Yeah. All the ones that have those metal collection plates. Oh. That don't need filters. 75.3. Apparently the ozone will react with certain uh, chemicals in the air to produce other chemicals. Mm hmm And it will react with certain particles to break them down to make ultrafine particles, which are even worse for your lungs. Wow. If you put a rubber band on this thing, it'll destroy the rubber band in a little while. 77.4. Will you know when it kind of levels off? Um, yeah. Bunch of cord, eh? Okay. 73.2, 73.4. Mono ozone. <laughs> I'm gonna breathe cement. A little bit of it doesn't smell bad. No. If it, if it gets to be high, then it makes you sick, though. Or I can smell it in the sand stuff. 71.6. Okay, it's going to probably stay around there, I guess. Eh? I guess so. Last time, what did it go to last time? Went well over 80. Yeah, over close to 90, but maybe yeah. there's more uh, air movement in here, but still would increase the, uh, the ozone concentration significantly just coming out of the grill. 79.3. What kind of meter is this? It's a. Uh, POM3. POM3. Hi there, 79.3. I'm uh, reading the ozone from this air purifier. 54 drops there. Okay, that's probably good enough for a test, but there you go. The ionic breeze definitely produces ozone. And uh, he has this 